So hi guys, Lou Beltran here, the IT veteran, and it's currently around 4.30 a.m. ng madaling araw. Okay? And I've just finished my last shift for the week. Um, finally, makakatulog uh, na rin ako over the weekend kasi um, uh, halos patapos na. Okay? Actually, patapos na yung aming uh, pag-migrate ng staff namin to a work-from-home solution okay? dahil nga sa COVID-19. Now, um, before I leave over the weekend, um, um, I've decided to record this video. Um, earlier this week kasi, nagtanong ako sa aking Facebook page, ano yung pinaka-important application na ginagamit ng isang IT professional sa kanyang workplace? Okay. And uh, ang daming sumagot okay, dun sa aking post na yun. Um, salamat sa lahat ng nag-comment. Okay. So yung mga answers doon was more on um, Microsoft... Uh, uh, office, yung coding platform nila, yung command line interface, um, ano pa, browsers, um, yung iba ba nga, nagsabi, team viewer, um, uh, Google. <laughs> okay. Pero really, um, meron tayong isang application na ginagamit sa ating workplace that we really can't uh, live without. Okay. And I will answer that one in this video. So for this video, guys, um, I've decided also to add okay, uh, a couple more topics because it's it's mostly related to sa ating uh, uh, tanong ko okay, for from my Facebook page ko yung pinaka important application. So ang pag-usapan natin ngayon is um, ano yung three important things that you need to learn okay, in order for you to get promoted sa inyong trabaho and yung most important application yun. Okay, that you will be using in your uh, IT career. Okay, so um, I'm currently using Zoom as of the moment, um, uh, and I'm also recording using my company laptop. So, pagpasensyahan yun na kung hindi maganda yung resolution ng ating uh, camera. Okay, so I'm not using my recording equipment as of the moment kasi ang gabit ko yung sa uh, aming company. Okay, so yung webcam ng laptop namin. So, let me just share yung screen ko. Okay, para makita ninyo yung topic natin for today. Okay, so ayan siya. Okay, so yung topic natin for today is yung three important things that you need to learn to get promoted and yung most important application that you will ever use in your IT career. So let's tackle first yung unang topic natin, yung three important things that you need to learn to get promoted. Okay, so let's go with the first topic. Okay, so let me just... Uh, Let's call this one, yung PowerPoint natin. Okay, so yung three important things that you need to learn to get promoted is this one. Yung pinakauna is communication. Second one is organization. And the third is interpersonal skills. Okay? And ang tawag sa mga ito are soft skills. Okay? So yung skills natin for IT can be um, segregated into two uh, types. Okay? technical skills, kung saan tayo magaling talaga, which is yung troubleshooting, um, yung pagka-IT wizard natin, and soft skills, which is yung um, uh, interpersonal skills natin, uh, actually. Okay? And most majority ng mga IT professionals are, uh, when they start their IT career, is medyo mahina sila dito, okay? in terms of soft, soft skills. Kasi itong soft skills, hindi ito basta-basta na ituturo. Eh, okay? It's something that you learn as you go along into your IT career. Okay. So let's tackle first communication. Okay. So communication means basically employers are looking for people okay, who can communicate well both verbally and in writing. Okay. Ano ibig sabihin ito? Um, even if you are the best coder, even if you are the best troubleshooter, even if you're the best IT wizard in the world, okay, yung technical skills mo will be useless if you can't communicate with others and convey kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin okay? uh, to them. Okay? Ano ba yung pwede mong uh, magawa sa kanila para magawa nila yung trabaho nila? Okay? And that is usually uh, the job of uh, an IT professional. Okay? We serve other people so that they can do their jobs well. Okay? How do we serve them? By providing technology applications and um, technical skills okay, so that they can accomplish their jobs. Okay? Now, good verbal and written communication means you can get your message across with less chance of 
misunderstanding. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Tayo kasi mga IT, um, sanay tayong uh, magsalita in terms of logic. Okay? Medyo, ang, ang mindset natin is more on the logical part of things. Okay? Uh, medyo mahina rin tayo kung minsan sa communication. Okay? Now, since IT tayo, um, sanay tayong magsalita in terms of jargon, in terms of technical stuff. Okay? Pero majority kasi ng kakausapin natin sa workplace are non-technical people. Mga managers, uh, finance, um, accounting, and other departments as well. Okay? Now, in order for you to be able to communicate well and get your message across to those people, okay, kailangan mong i-convert yung mambo-jumbo knowledge natin into simple terms na maintindihan nila. Okay? That is the number one requirement ng communication. Okay? Pag IT professional ka. Okay? And communication is done, okay, using the most important tool na sasabihin natin mamaya. Okay? So let's go first with the second soft skill na kailangan mong pag, uh, pag-aralan. Um, the second one is called organizational skills. Okay? Along kasi with communication and computer skills, organizational skills is one of the most important transferable skills a worker can possess. Okay? Companies kasi need workers who can stay organized and focus on projects at hand. Hindi, okay? Ano ibig sabihin nito? Um, katulad ito sinabi ko, kahit ikaw yung pinakamagaling na coder or ikaw yung pinakamagaling na IT sa department ninyo, okay? kung buratakan naman sa trabaho mo at hindi mo alam i-organize yung, yung train of thought mo, yung projects mo, or yung mga tinatroubleshoot mo, you will not uh, succeed in the workplace. Okay? You will always be branded as someone who is not organized in, her, in terms of his work. Okay? And syempre, trabaho yan mina measure ka rin dyan. Okay? Yung key ng, for you to get promoted is basically uh, dapat magaling ka in organizing your work. Okay? Kasi kung um, magaling ka in terms of uh, responding to uh, um, issues ng mga users mo, um, they measure you okay? on that performance uh, uh, on those performance and indicators, okay? And syempre, yung, uh, yung mga indicators na yun, doon nagre-rely kung gano'ng kalaki ang increase mo for the next year, okay? Kung may increases kayo. Um, it's called uh, performance evaluation, okay? So, um, organizational skills is very important, okay, so workplace. And um, ano ba usually yung kailangan ng organizational skills? Um, this includes your general organizing ng work mo, um, planning your time, planning your work, um, ano yung uh, execution mo in terms of uh, troubleshooting and so on and so forth. Um, ano pa, time management mo sa workplace, um, uh, ano pa, uh, scheduling yung meetings, scheduling yung troubleshooting steps, um, creating documentation for uh, other users, um, Basically, resources and meeting deadlines. Okay? So, dyan pumapasok ang ating organizational skills. Now, the third one, and ito yung uh, talagang nahihirapan ang majority ng IT professionals uh, sa workplace is interpersonal skills. Okay? Now, majority kasi ng IT, um, we have a tendency to become um, introverts. Okay? Majority sa atin, majority of people that really go into the IT workplace are uh, introverts by uh, um, uh, behavior. Okay? Ibig sabihin, hindi sila masyado nakikipag-communicate with other people. Now, they might be good at communicating with their friends, pero pagpasok mo sa workplace and baguhan ka, okay, this is something that you have to build. Okay? It's a necessity for you to survive. Okay? by building interpersonal skills sa inyong kumpanya, okay? You have to be known kasi in your company, okay? For them to be uh, able to know that you exist, okay? Kasi kung minsan sa IT department, sila sabi nila, uy, mga taga-IT yan, but they don't really exactly know who you are kasi hindi ka nakikita, okay? Sa um, kumpanya ninyo, okay? Uh, ang, usually, ang label sa atin is, uy, ayun yung IT. Okay? Pero hindi, nila, hindi ka nila kinilala personally kasi hindi ka rin nakaka- nakiki- intermingle okay, sa mga kapwa mo, uh, co-workers. Okay? Hindi lang sa inside your IT department, 
you have to also build kasi skills in your, or relationships outside your department. Okay? So, interpersonal skills is um, ang number one na kailangan yung uh, pag-aralan in terms of interpersonal skills is listening. Okay? Kailangan yung makinig. Okay? Kasi um, usually, yung mga report ng issues sa applications ninyo and um, sa systems na minimalitin ninyo, um, majority of those uh, issues it describe sa inyo ng mga users. Okay? And if you don't listen well to your users, hindi ka makakakuha ng hints and uh, uh, um, mga, basically yes, mga hints. Okay? Kung ano yung nagiging problema nila with relationship to yung system or yung application na minimaintain mo. Okay? Kasi by talking with your users, okay, doon mo makikita kung saan sila nagkakaproblema. And that will give you hints kung saan ka uh, unang-unang magkatroubleshoot. Okay? So, good interpersonal skills also allows us to work effectively with teams. Okay? Kasi sa isang IT department, hindi lang naman ikaw ang uh, IT dyan. Eh. Okay? You will have other people with other specialties that will help you. Okay, in maintaining um, a multitude of uh, technologies and uh, equipments. Okay. And yes, basically interpersonal skills is essential for developing life skills. Okay. So being able to communicate well with others is often essential to solving problems in your workplace. Okay. Both in our private and professional lives. Okay. Siyempre, um, you really need to listen and communicate well with others. Okay. So, yan yung uh, three um, uh, things that you need to learn okay, in order for you to get promoted. Okay? Kasi you will never get promoted kung hindi ka marunong makipag-usap sa ibang tao, hindi ka marunong uh, mag-organize ng trabaho mo sa workplace, and hindi ka marunong makinig sa iba. Okay? Now, so yung tatlong soft skills na yon will be used on the single most important application na gagamitin nyo for the rest of your IT career. And that is called email. Okay? Specifically, Microsoft Outlook. Okay? Now, bakit email? Okay? Email kasi is um, majority ng business communications are done via email. Okay? Specifically, 80% of all business communications are done via email. Okay? Dito mo rin ma-receive ma ma yung um, documentations for uh, yung, uh, yung coding applications ninyo. Um, dito nyo ma-receive din yung mga reports if you need to troubleshoot something. Dito nyo rin ma-receive lahat ng... Um, updates coming from your managers and um, other uh, uh, departments from uh, your company. Okay? And sinasabi ko na sa rin sa inyo, 80% of the time that you are in the office will be spent looking at this window, Microsoft Outlook. Okay? Um, Diyan mo kasi mahikita lahat. Eh. Okay? This will play out... Um, Basically, um, ang laman ng email mo, dito sa Microsoft Outlook mo, isiset yung calendar mo, um, lahat ng meetings mo, dito mo siya mo lahat makikita. Yung mga contacts mo um, inside your company and outside your company, okay? um, dito mo yan ilalagay. Okay? Yung tasks mo for the day, okay? on how you organize yourself, on kung ano yung mga kailangan unahin na trabaho for the day, dito lahat yan gagawin. And basically, reading all of your emails. Okay, for the day. And nakikita niyo dito sa screen ko, um, ang dami kong emails. Okay? And this is on a daily basis. Lahat yung 9,848 na yan for the network team and 791 emails for uh, the telephony team. Lahat yan kailangan kong basahin okay? during the day. Okay? Lahat yan kailangan kong matapos basahin. Okay? Now, paano naman ang meetings and... Uh, Conferences, okay? Those things only happen around 10% of the time, okay? And the rest of the remaining 10% ng oras mo sa office is done you, uh, doing the actual troubleshooting itself and uh, uh, coding, okay? Kung nasa software side kayo, okay? So, now, this email is already pre-sorted and um, has already rules in place um, for me to be able to sift through and organize myself. Okay? 
Pero kung wala akong organizational skills in uh, using uh, and managing my email, matatambakan ako ng trabaho. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung kailangan kong unahin. Okay? So, yan. Okay? So, basically, yung communication mo will play out writing emails. Okay? Conveying technical terms into um, uh, a simplified words that is easily understood by um, most people okay, in your company. Okay? Or the non-IT or the non-technical uh, people in your company. Okay? And um, organization naman will play out basically sorting all of your emails into organized folders okay, para hindi ka nawawala doon sa um, pag-manage ng email mo. Kasi kung wala kang organization in terms of yung emails mo, malatambakan ka ng trabaho. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung kailangan mo unahin at kailangan mo ipagpaliban. Okay, kasi syempre, hindi naman lahat yan nakaprioritize yung uh, nag email sa'yo. Eh. Okay. Um, you have to uh, do prioritization okay, in your um, uh, workplace. Okay. Diyan papasok na yung organizational skills. Okay. Saan pa? Um, this is where you also set your meetings. Okay. And um, you set reminders then for deadlines na kailangan mo i-meet. Okay. Lahat yan kaya um, you will be doing that one in Microsoft Outlook. Dito ka rin kasi sa emails, um, nagsisimulang makilala ng kumpanya mo kapag baguhan ka. Okay. So, that's it, fellow IT engineers, um, for this uh, uh, lesson, uh, this video, actually. So, um, it's already 5 a.m., okay. so um, it's the end of my shift, <laughs> and um, ito na rin yung uh, um, katapos na aking video. So, pagpasensya niyo na itong video na to. Um, this is just a spur of the moment. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Basically, yun lang gusto ko <laughs> sabihin for this video. So, <laughs> um, ano ba kailangan ko sabihin? Ah, yes. Okay. So, don't forget to follow me in my Facebook page, actually. And um, subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. And um, write your comment below. Okay. Um, gusto ko marinig yung, yung comments ninyo and yung uh, feedback ninyo uh, about this video. Okay? Kung bakit napaka uh, bakit uh, for me, uh, bakit napaka importante yung email. Okay? And um, yun din, uh, pahabol pala. Um, the reason I'm also sending you emails uh, sa inyong mailboxes, sa inyong Gmail and um, uh, Yahoo. Okay? So, so is basically, this is to train you. Okay? To train you then on reading emails. Kasi pagdating nyo talaga sa workplace, okay? emails lang talaga ang kailangan, ang, ang, ang makikita nyo day after day after day. Okay? So, make sure na uh, wag nyo nga isa-spam yung aking uh, emails uh, sa inyo because it contains trainings and updates uh, for uh, basically coming from me, okay? Lubel Tribe. Okay. Now, also, um, don't forget to uh, visit my uh, webpage, uh, lubeltan.com, and grab my free ebook there. Okay. It's called um, Tips and um, uh, Interview Tips and Tricks for IT Professionals and uh, Salary Negotiations. Okay. Um, Lalagi ko dito yung libro. Okay. Um, that ebook is the culmination of my 15 years of being the interviewer and interviewee and um, nagsulat din ako doon kung paano rin mag-negotiate na yung IT salary once kayo na yung final candidate for the position. Okay? So make sure you grab that free ebook kasi um, it's very important. Okay? And ang dami niyong matututunan doon. Okay? Kasi alam niyo naman sa IT, tulad ng sinabi ko on my previous video, um, madalas tayong lumipat-lipat ng kumpanya. Eh, so mas madalas tayong na interview at mag interview ng mga staff natin. Okay? And in terms of salary negotiations naman, syempre, hindi naman masamang humirit ng konti okay? ng mas mataas sa inyong salary. Okay? Kasi malaki, malaki rin ang maitutulong nan, uh, sa inyo for your day-to-day -day expenses. So again, this is Lubeltran uh, and I'll see you in the next video.